Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to create an empty data frame with n rows and m columns using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you a very quick and simple example which is based on the data frame and matrix functions as you can see in lines 2 to 4 of the code. So in these lines of code I'm first creating a matrix and within this matrix I'm specifying that the data frame that we are going to create should be filled with NA values. Then I'm specifying the number of rows of this matrix using the N row argument. And in this case, I'm specifying that our data should contain five rows. And then I'm using the N call argument to specify the number of columns of our data frame. And in this case, I'm creating a data frame with four columns. And then after creating this matrix, I'm wrapping the data frame function around the matrix to convert our matrix object to the data frame class. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object, which is called data. So if you run lines two to four of the code, you can see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that we have created an empty data frame with five rows and four columns, x1, x2, x3, and x4. Now, if you want to change the number of rows and columns, you can simply change the numbers for the n row argument and the n call argument. And if you want to change the values that should be contained in the data frame, then you can change the na value that I have specified at the beginning. So in this very short tutorial, I have explained how to apply the data frame and matrix functions to create an empty data frame with n rows and m columns. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code that I have shown in this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me a thumbs up on the video. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.